like Dude, it hinge ain't even gear. sagging. There's gauges. Dude, the gauges sold me. Yeah. I'm not gonna be honest. I was like, oh, it's a suburban. I don't even want it. And then I seen the gauges. I'm like, oh, I kind of have to have that now. I've never seen another set of those. Yeah, I don't know what they came out of, but they fit perfectly in there. Dude, this thing is like really nice for the miles. Really nice. Half a million. <laughs> it's wild. Hey guys, real quick before we get to today's video, wife made me another bet, which means someone's gonna benefit, and it's probably not me. Today's 21st. We'll do March 21st to April 21st. Uh, you buy a Cut Towards Your Buddy shirt, then you're going to go in the Cut Towards Your Buddy shirt pool. You buy a Do It Nice shirt, you're going to go in the Do It Nice pool. And whichever shirt we sell more of, we're going to pick a, a winner out of that pool. And we'll send you a care package with over 150 bucks worth of stuff in it. So, hat, flag... All the good shit. And speaking of all the good shit, I've got a treat for you. Check this out. Get yourself a freaking fruit juice. Oh. Mm. Yeah, and get it into a brand new old two stroker 71 series liner koozie. You guys freaking need these. Available on the website right freaking now. Drink a beer with me. Back to the video. Dude, the bottoms of the doors are like way nicer than I thought they'd be. Mm -hmm. I thought they would be like deleted. The way you talked about this thing, I'm like, dude, this thing is scrap. Like he's dropping this thing off and I'm gonna bring it to the scrap yard. Well, I didn't want you to like be undersold on it. Oh, I see what you mean about the, you can't, like you can't really tell it's in like, the picture. They kind of just wanted it to look okay. Yeah. Which is friggin' mint. I'll bring it back down to you and like after on away, and then you can do the body work. All right, that's fine. If you want. Yeah. It wasn't too bad of a drive. It was like, was it five and a half or just under six hours? But we stopped five and a half. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. A little bit of patchwork here, eh? Yeah, that's the spot right there. Oh, the spring hangers like deleted. Yeah. But like. I'm not sure I would have strapped to that. You're a brave man. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> oh yeah, it did. I'm impressed. Oh, look at the exhaust. No way. Yeah, it's like full three inch. Dude, what a fucking treat. Let's smash the flywheel in and rev her up. <laughs> I like your style. Yeah, on the way up here, I was like telling him I forgot. I had to get a bunch of diesel out of my shop because I was selling a container I had. I filled this tank up. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> it's was, full? My idea was to fill it up and then like empty it out because it's 42 gallons I think or something like that. Oh, it's got the big tank in it? Yeah. Dude, that is friggin' What the f***? This yeah, thing is great, dude. Pop the hood. You see all the Francis on shit. Oh, wow. The flywheel was like, oh, about yeah. what I expected. I brought that along just to show you. How no, I'm really glad you did because I'm going to use it as a mock-up or something. You know what I mean? Like, I'll just make one. Yeah, my buddy and I were thinking that we could just make one out of, like, eighth inch steel or something. 100%, bro. Because it doesn't serve a purpose. It's just, it bolts the torque converter to the adapter. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, could fi I could fix that. I ain't scared. Where'd you put the tranny? It's in the back. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Golly, it's, I forgot it's like school bus length. Oh, dude, no way. This is why I bought it. What is that thing? That's the thermostat for the electric fans. Dude. Yeah. He actually made Old boy was MacGyver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude, that is a factory throttle body. Yeah. He's got jammed on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's genius. This one cord. Because he's, you know what? He's using it for the TPS to shift the tranny. Yep. It's this hanging. is a 4L60E. No, it's a 700. But you could probably put a 4L60 in it. So why did he hook up the TPS? To make it, it, it he had that kick yeah, down button remember. or whatever. The 700 you know. shift on a cable and the 60E shifts on the PCM, you know? Yeah. There's a thing in here 
There's an electronic kick down thing that can like unlock the converter and kick it down. Sick. I was wondering about that because I'm going to need that for the Jakes. Yeah. It's definitely getting Jakes. That's going to be cool. I'm going to put a cow hood on it and because I need two more inches. Yeah. You know, which is tight. He put that. I saw it's got a scoop. He wanted it to look as factory as possible. Yeah. And he really, I mean, he really did make it. Dude, that's like amazingly flat. Like, he did a good job at actually riveting that on there. Yeah, this there's thing. even, there's a catch can here. It was the, I guess, a wiper washer tank. No oh, way. He said he emptied it out once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> What a greasy old whore. I love it. No way. Dude, this guy was legit. It's his... This fits in here way better than I would have ever thought it would. Wait till we get it on the lift and you can see how he got it in. Oh, yeah. Am I going to be afraid or is it no, like it's quality just, fab? Man, it's just... it, it's, he did it right. His welds are good. It's just he was so committed that he, he was just like, we're getting it in. We're going to cut something. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I mean, Sick, at least dude. they did put the corrosion protection on. Yeah, I see that. That really worked really well. <laughs> yep. I'm glad they put that there. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the biggest gimmicks. There's a... Uh, Jeez, he cut front. that whole thing for just this little piece. Oh, I see what he's got going on. I thought this was the metal. Like, I thought the metal was, like, behind that, you know? No, just like a little bubble. Sick. The front drive shaft up against the oil pan, the U joint is like that far. <laughs> That's why I said, wait till you see how tight it is. In inches a mile. What do we got going on here? Oh, AC delete. No, it works. I don't know what that part it of it works. is. It works. Yeah, here you go. This turns it on. Oh, I see. He's got this. Oh wow! Oh, oh, that's uh, right the rear, the rear stuff. Oh. You got this switch right here to toggle the AC on and off. No yeah. way! Yeah, mm -hmm. seriously. <laughs> yeah. So you have to like, it works, but you have to manually toggle it. What has he got going on here? Oh, that's how you jump start it. Oh yeah, that's why they got the rubber hose around it. Yeah, I see that. It's a little sketchy. Right there, but it goes right down to the starter. Where's the battery? Underneath. Underneath. Underneath the rear. Driver side seat. No way, dude. These guys are savages, dude. Dude, it's even got nicer tires than anything else on the property. Yeah, right there is the right boss. There's you the can boss. see it barely hanging out. Oh wow. So what do you got to get? You it's got to be on the lift to like change the battery, or yeah. does he have a compartment? You can pull it out the side. I oh, haven't yeah. pulled the carpet up. But you can definitely pull it out the side. <laughs> when I had it on my lift. Because I was like, man, you have to put it on the lift to change the battery. Yeah. <laughs> like my freaking old Viper. There's two Group 31s under there. Is there really? Yeah. Sick. Dude, yeah. this thing is just a peach. It has a brand new starter on it as well. Is it one of them gear reductions? Or are you wrestling one of those big heavy ones? It's a big heavy one. Oh, you crazy bastard. I didn't put that in. The guy, Jimmy, I bought it from him. He put that in. The wow. last thing he did was the starter and the head gasket. Man, is that? I got to see if that's a friggin'. Oh, you want to open it? Yeah, how do you open this thing? Oh, you got to do I see. I, I never had one of this body style Suburban. Yeah, it says it's the, the window. The yeah. My other one is barn door. Yeah, watch that thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, this box is full of injectors and the bolts for the tranny and the flywheel. Okay. He gave me a bunch of HV90s or HV9s or whatever they are. Yeah, so it is a uh, 700. No shit. Yep. Huh. Transfer cases right there. Got uh, brake line kits up there. Fascinating. Was the tranny good? Mm hmm. It shifted. The only thing is I didn't drive it far because it was ticking real hard from the flex plate. Yeah. And when I pulled it out. I bet that made a hell of a noise. Yeah, it did. <laughs> oh, when we drove it up on, it was like, it sounded like a knock. And I was like, yeah, it's definitely not going to last very long on it. And he put 30,000 in one road trip. Mm -hmm. Dude, no way. Hardcore. <laughs> Swapped it at 203,000 miles. In 2001 when it was six years old. No way, dude. Yeah. Batteries are 05, so they're deader than Hank. It's like the newest battery on my property. 
<laughs> Don't tell me that. We gotta start this thing. <laughs> She'll start that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Dude, no wonder the fr it's like there's no rust under here because it's up front's nice. Yeah. yeah, whatever's there was from the small block. Did you guys disconnect that? Was uh, that? I don't know what those go to. Oh no, that's, yeah, that is. Is that the that's four? That's for four, four wheel drive, that's right? The four wheel drive. Yep. Yeah. It goes up over top to the train. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. Did you see this? The tunnel's like not terrible. Right. Oh. And then your four wheel drive. Oh yeah, it's like right there. It is. It, when it's in the air, it, it pretty much touches. That's okay. It's not here for that. I'm Does that legit broke off of there? No, it's welded. No, I don't oh, think it no. is. It is broke. Holy shit. I don't remember that. Is that side broke? No, that side's welded. I know a guy. Dude, that oil paint is a... It fits in here way better than you would think. Yeah, you see the... Where Just a little notch? A little notch around there. Oh, yeah. Just give her a little tickle. I wonder if that broke from us hauling it across the 88. Break? I, I can't it's see. Right here. Oh yeah, if you went up 88, oh. yeah. Yeah, I think that's... Because I don't remember seeing that one. Oh, no, no, bro, it's been that way. That ain't fresh. Yeah. I don't know, maybe. Doesn't matter. I mean, it's a two-second fix. I ain't worried about it. I'll just pull this bolt out and, like, I it's fine. wonder if that's why it's so close up there. Probably is. Yeah. Probably has a little to do with it. I bet it comes down a little more when it's... Yep. That makes sense. Not... Dude, like it's, I thought this was gonna be a total rot box based yeah, on your, I had secured another whole Suburban oh, from the shit. south to body swap it. I know, I'm like retarded is the right term. Bro, is that GM fuel filter still hooked up? No, can't be. Yeah. No, I don't it think is. I think it is. It is. It is. We were looking Oh God! He's got he's got that fuel filter, and then the one up. I think there's one or two up top. Oh wow, dude! You were not kidding about the friggin' battery. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you see the batteries? Yeah. Holy shit! It's got a big ass muffler on it too. Yeah, we're gonna delete that. It's actually. Well, I mean. Yeah, it's probably nice to drive. We can't have that. It's actually not bad. Inside, but it's loud as shit outside. Yeah. Like, oh wow, dude, this body mount has left the group chat. Yep. Yep. That's the rusty one. Oh wow. But it yeah. has seven other ones. It's amazingly different back here than it is in the front. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's like Yeah, it's like this side was left in the ocean. But the this shell isn't too bad. This side of the frame is clean as shit. And then yeah, and then the other side is like has a little also there. left the group chat. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's only a little hole. Whatever, dude. It's solid up here. It's still fixable. Uh, I, I really think it is. I'm not like concerned about it at all. Honestly, is that a plastic tank? Mm -hmm. Sick. Oh no, that's a. All right, yeah, it's a metal tank. It Dang it! I was hoping it was plastic. Them things are forever, dude. If they're still feeling it, wow, dude. I bet it's. That is like really deleted. Yeah. I'd put a hanger on. Yeah. Just take the hanger off and. Yep. Plate it. Yeah. Let's take the tank out. Dump the tank. That's only diesel. It's barely even flammable. That's what I'm saying, dude. It doesn't even friggin'. Oh yeah, right. I'm thinking it's gas. We could well, I could weld on the tank. It'll yeah. be fine. And this side's actually nice. This is a little spot. Yeah. This other side, like. That's the rusty. That's side. the other side. It's weird how the frame rusted on this side, but then the body rusted on this side. Oh yeah, this is that spot that I could see from. The little hole there. Yeah. That's your problem when I bring it back. You can. <laughs> That's part of the body work. You can, you can, you'll enjoy that. I'll get her together. I'll get the frame all jammed in it. The bright side, they make all the all the pieces for the truck. Do they really? Yeah, they make these up to the body line. These sick. Rockers. They even make the inners and outers. Well, are the inners there? No. The bottoms are gone. I think they're yeah. they're pretty toast. They're they're missing. Yeah. But like right above it is fine. It's weird. 
Oh, the pinch weld's still on this yeah. one. Yeah. Is the pinch weld there? I mean, that's not no, terrible. No, that's the pinch that's, weld. That's pretty f It's gone. Left group chat. You're gonna, you're gonna have fun with this. It ain't even that bad. No. Shit, you could have it fixed in a weekend. I don't know why you were friggin' dodging me on it, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ivaco friggin'. 108 hour weekend. Battery box. Be alright. It's not like you wanted to sleep, anyways. I think he said he put a fender on this, but it started to rust. I don't remember which one. I think he said he replaced both the fenders. It's definitely better than I thought it was gonna be. Well, I tried to basically. You're the first person I've ever bought anything from that talks something down. Well, I'm glad to know. <laughs> yeah, normally it's like... It's I'll Usually time. they're like, oh, dude, it's cherry. Just come get it. Bring me all your money. And then, like, your first words were, I don't know if it's fixable. I'm like, it's perfect for me. I must have it. <laughs> I don't know. You knew exactly what to say to me. It's like you watched the channel or something. <laughs> By the rustiest... It's really not bad, dude. It's weird how clean the center is. Yeah. Like, Where well, the spot welds were. Yeah, like everything is super clean under here, really. I mean, it's up out there. And that's, you know what, it must have been that corrosion protector, dude. Yeah, yeah. If he had put one in the back of it, it would have been fine. Whoa. <laughs> that must be that switch he's got on the console. Yeah, for the, uh, it's yeah. the plug on the side of the tranny. Yeah. <sighs> dude, ADE is going to go right in here. Man, I don't even think I have to put a crank seal in it. I'm not gonna, because I love doing stuff twice. It actually doesn't really, like... Uh, oh, fuck, he's got it doweled and everything. I put a little bit of brake clean in there when I took it out, but that was the cleanest part of that motor. <laughs> Hands down. Dude, well, you know what? The motor's got some miles on it. I should have brought... You didn't see the cluster yet, because I didn't put it down, dude, but it's got 491,000 miles on it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I should have had you. I am in love with this thing. Dude, he did a nice job mounting this. Yeah. This is not yeah. typically what I see in homemade swaps. Yeah, front mount is oh like my god, nice. dude. Yeah. I think he everything about changing the oil. Is it bad? Did you see that? Look at the filter. I think he said you reach down from the top. Yeah, you must have to, dude, because you ain't getting in there from here. Yeah. That's that blue thing. Yeah, I see it up there. And I'm also surprised it's not a spin-on. Yeah. We're going to change that. Oh, dude, the turbo's got to be cooking that f***ing oil, too. Flipped up like that? Mm -hmm. I know a guy. He's the Detroit Whisperer. He can do this. Wow, it is juicy under here, dude. You see the body mounts for the motor? Oh, motor? wow. No. He used the same ones on the rear. I was wondering what kind of mounts those are. They're body mounts. No shit. This piece to hold the front, dude. What this guy was a freaking MacGyver, yeah. Probably would have been a really cool dude, yeah. I would have loved to have spent some time with this guy. Block heater, yep. What a treat! Let's plug it in and see if it works. I think it does, but uh, Jimmy said he actually really never plugged it in because it would sit for like a week or two at a time. Mm -hmm. Then just go out and crank it till the smoke came out the back, and then recrank it and fire it off. Yeah, and I pretty, believe it. Pretty much, I did that a couple of times when it was ten degrees outside, and he wasn't lying. <sighs> He's out. It's got. It's impressive because it's got. Tell me the steering wheel's not locked. Tell me it's a GM for an inline. Tell me it's, it's actually moving both tires more than I thought it would. Yeah, the steering wheel. feels pretty good actually. I'm shocked. I think the bolt's nice. They're like, it doesn't. The uppers are done. It doesn't feel terrible. Bottoms are tight. The uppers are wasted? No, they're done. They're like redone. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, it feels tight, so I'd be surprised if they were blown up. It's got like fresh front end stuff in it. Like, those are newer sway bar links. Mm -hmm. They're even blue. Jimmy was driving it. Uppers are, I bet he did whole control arms because the camber bolt's brand new. The control arms don't match the bottom. Yeah. They look nice. Yeah. You can buy them like that too for these. That was honestly my concern was like the GM part of this operation. Dude, is it posy? No. Damn it. No. I forget. We did look up the RPO. No, it, it 
Yeah. No. Yeah. You can tell yeah. spinning it. Yeah. yeah. It's fun one wheel going yeah. on the trailer. You, see, you spin this. You spin this. this and, then, and then if it yeah. turns the other one backwards, it's not posy. Yeah. I think it has 373s in it. But the four oh, you know what? The four wheel drive does work. Yeah. That's how we got it on the trailer. Yeah. Put her four high and smashed it. Yeah. I ain't worried. Whatever, dude. I'll weld it. The rear? Yeah. Oh, boy. It's got to do good burnies, dude. Ah, uh, I it, it did. <laughs> did you do a ribbon burnout with, with it? With one tire, yeah. It was a one tire fire. Sick. Like, that thing was literally rolling smoke off of it. Dude, you can't even tell. They're like the nicest tires I own. Top speed, 92. Is it really? Yeah, it holds the governor. Did you try it? Yeah, it's a little scary, but... I was going to say, you're a brave man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I finished the flex plate. With, with hopes and dreams holding that yeah, spring shackle on. <laughs> Grab that, uh... Oh, you know what? Should we put the... We didn't put the flywheel in it. Should I put the flywheel in it while it's sitting here? Yeah. Yeah. There's... I'll put it down, and then I'll put it back up. Like, I don't got to go all the way down, but... Yeah. You good? Drunk and I'll get drunk by yeah. Bro, I'm ready to put that. We're gonna plug it in, charge the batteries, dude. That antenna is gonna go right in the outlet. Probably go one more. It's pretty close, dude. It's right there. <laughs> it might make some, uh, oh, it's gonna miss! Damn it! That would have been f***ing mint if it charged the batteries. <laughs> it's been like my generator episode. <laughs> Special Ed, dude. The battery box is a treat. Oh. Yeah. Well, luckily I know a guy with one of those. Oh yeah. Oh god. What in the earth does he got going on in here? I think it's twenty four volt. Oh no. It most definitely is twenty four volt. Yeah, yeah. The starter's twenty four volt. Why would you do that? Well, how the f is he charging the batteries? actually does charge. No way. There's no f***ing way. They gotta be in here backwards or something. Oh, somebody put batteries in it in 2020. Oh, really? Yeah. This oh. battery has a 2020 label on it. Oh, that's still under warranty. Yeah, they're gonna bring that back. <laughs> I think they're Walmart super starts or something. Are they not 31s? I thought they were. No, they ain't 31s, dude. Hmm. Yeah, it's not it. Uh, it's not 24 volt. It's 12 volt, but the batteries are in Dude. one's in one way and one's in the other way. Yeah, so, so they kind of cross there. over. I see. Yeah, he has one over there and one over here. It needs batteries, just because this is terrible. Give this. You're gonna, you're gonna get, yeah, I see that. You're gonna get batteries for this thing. Probably not. Probably not. Weld to the floor. We're just gonna take these out and then um, charge them forever. Did you put the starter in it, or did uh, Jimmy, Jimmy? Jimmy did. He said it only weighed like 104 pounds. Oh, that poor bastard, dude. That looks like a nightmare to get in there. Yeah, he said it was bad. He said, I'll never do that again. <sighs> Damn it, dude. Yeah, I would have mailed him the money to put a, a high-torque starter in it. <laughs> so, so I didn't have to f*** with it again, you know? Yeah. Holy shit. Smashed fingers. Oh yeah. You want me to help you with that? You want to smash your fingers? I'm good. I got I got <laughs> shit I got <laughs> shit to do today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. Evil, hold the front up. Is he going for it without a light? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crazy bastard. Dude, you want a job? No. <laughs> no, he goes. No. There you go. You're my hero. Nobody move. Yeah, right? Here, look at this <laughs> kind of thing. It Four. might be enough weight now to tip it off the lift if we're lucky. Right up in there. Yep. Oh, this is not 
something, you know, but it's probably just the angle and the weight. Thought you were going all DeWalt. I gotta go to the store. I'm too cheap. Nature's Loctite, dude. Oh, yeah. So we'll know if that's right when we go to start it. If it rattles, it wasn't right. So what line... What line? But right here. Look. Oh. Dude, I couldn't see it. It was like. There it, there it is. Yep. She's a bleeder. The train fluid ain't looking good. That's red. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. That's good. Need strength. It's all the search for right now. It is tranny lines because I yep. couldn't get them out of the tranny. I remember now. It's coming back to me. <laughs> I'll give you a discount for that. <laughs> Forgot to mention that. I can't even imagine that this was making any noise. It did. It sounded like a. Uh, you know, you just a baseball card and you're. <laughs> yeah, dude, I bet, dude. There's There's nothing like left of that freaking thing. A, a can we, so can, yo, can we jump it from under hood yeah. with that thing? Uh huh. That's why that's there, because he said it used to it used to sit and dump it. He had to go underneath the truck and got sick of it. Well, you might want to put a little bit in there. It's on the bottom. Yeah. Bro, wipe cool. that thing off. Stick it back in there, and if there's anything on it, when we pull it back out, it's fine. <laughs> okay. What's it hold? Oil? Yeah. Uh, I thought it was wrote in the book. It's got to be like 12 quarts, right? 12 or 15. Yeah, it's fine. See that little hole there? In that? Oh. I couldn't figure out why he did that. EGT? Oh, no, that's yeah, friggin'. He has one. It's, there, there's a, why did he do that? Yeah. There. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say that's intake side, even though it's exhaust pipe. I don't know, dude. I think we should put some oil in it. <sighs> fine. Just give me some used stuff. No! <laughs> oh, wait, how do you put oil in it? Where's the oil fill? Right there. Oh my god. Oh, my Brillo pad. I need that. That doesn't come with it. Alright, you can have that. <laughs> We're not gonna run that. I promise. I got shit to do Yeah, I got today. shit to do today. That's what neighbor kid always says. Yeah. Shit to do. I actually do. Look at this. Look at that. I got a whole list. Your wife gave you a list? Yeah. Oh, dude, you better leave now. I know. 
What is that, Home Depot? It is. Oh boy, sounds expensive. Yeah. That looks like about a two hundred dollar list. Oh yeah. All of it. Do we even need this funnel? I don't know. It's going pretty slow. It's kind of slow. It's holding me up. I mean, if you dump it down the side, it really won't make a difference. Yeah, you know, I, I don't even think the truck's going to notice. No, it might actually prevent more rust. I need to dump it down the side in the in the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The front's got plenty of oil. Never learn anything. Forty-five minutes to add oil. Dang, forty weight. Yep, this is getting edited out. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna drive it in. That is different. Yeah. Oh, here's the cover for it. <laughs> 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 it's not sketchy at all. It won't hit nothing. Yeah, when it starts running, we want to watch that. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that actually might do it by itself. Think so? Yeah, I don't think it ah. probably get that. There you go, Gump. Oh, you got one? There's a bolt right there for it. Hell yeah. I don't know what that bolt's for, but. I got no crankage. No crankage? I wonder if there's a sensor off that train that needs Yeah, the Prindle. Yeah. Neutral yeah, because it doesn't know it's in park right now. Yeah. I know I did. We're all too fired up to see it go. Enough. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, two thirteens, no fifteen. Idiots, bro. We looked right at this thing. All the spacers. Probably don't want to lose those. Put them back in the exact order. Yeah, okay. Lost forever. Not here for that. Oh, I didn't even break it. Okay. Oh, well, we got a little arc and spark up here. Well, it's only a 40 amp juice, so. start. Needs more juice. Oh, we killed her. She's real mad. Today. Oh, she started, Hang on. She started to turn. Let me get a wire brush. The battery's like real upset my life choices. Yeah, I can understand that. Give her. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Is this, uh, has this got a good juice connection here? I 
can say, yeah, probably just a shitty ground, if anything. It's kind of how it acts, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, like it's not getting the full power. Be editing this part out, too. Try it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, try it. Well, it's worse. Thing is, I'm not getting. This ain't contributing nothing. Whatever the fucking deal is here, this don't like it. Maybe we just need a better ground or something. Ground's kind of fucked off. Let's see what else we got. Ah! Oh. Can you get from underneath it and just go yeah, right off the? Get your fucking whizzy wheel out and just fucking burn a nice clean spot in there yeah, quick. I like that guy. This is gonna be the longest will it start fucking video. Fucking <laughs> idiot. Edited. Yeah, 300, yeah. What's the title? The, idiot drives seven hours to bring me a suburban? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then four, four idiots can't make it start. The junk collectors unite is the yeah. title. <laughs> Right next to the ether bottle, that's where you want to do that. I think that's actually showing till. Pretty cool that it's in there. Yeah, I think it's all show and tell. Really? It's so dumb. It wouldn't be there for a month, though. I promise. You giving her? Just give her. Oh, God. You want to try my jumper cables? I got a pretty decent set in my truck. Serious? Yeah. Just jam that thing anywhere. 
on the video. Probably right do it for a fucking battery anyway. So we can try cleaning this bar up. I don't know. It's bolted to the motor. I think. Where's that go? Just try his jumper cables. And yeah. You know, I got another battery. We can always jam the two batteries together. Oh, yeah. 24 volt it. No, 12, but. Oh, I thought we were going for the full 10. Oh, please. Yeah, these are a little less corroded. Oh, wow, these are like brand new. Yeah. Hang on a second, buddy. If you just hook up like six or eight batteries, just keep like. Dude, that's funny you mentioned that. We were joking about that. We were. He ain't lying. Uh, you want me to go home and grab my other jumper cables too? There's a trick to these, and it's making sure that they're hooked up the same way. Because otherwise it goes boom, as evidenced by the terminals. I don't know if you can see that. Just getting ready for it. Yeah. 15 is almost 9 sixteenths. It'll be fine. Turned out it wasn't. No, it's just fucking thing. Fix that real quick. Fuck you. Yeah, I probably fucked up the fucking threads. That's how my life fucking goes, boys. We straightened out. Lock tight. Hell yeah, she's gonna crank up now. All right, I'll take that back. I'll give you these. I don't want nothing to fucking do with your shenanigans over <laughs> here. What are you worried about? I don't want nothing to do with that. You good? I'm good up here. Send this it. is positive, right? Oh uh, yeah, red's still red up here. Okay, man. You never know. Didn't feel like changing it up. <laughs> All right. Good? Yeah. Why do I not have juice now? Maybe the ground. Oh, there's definitely a lot more sparkles up here. Try it. Wow. Dude, them batteries are just sucking every bit of life out of. I'm gonna let it on charge for a minute. This send this does go into the system of the suburban, so it should give it some juice. Just wonder if we should go right to the truck, right to the right to the starter. Yeah. Can you even see the fucking thing? That's a good question. Good luck like fucking on. getting to it. Not without arcing it out on the steering shaft. Jesus. Yeah. I think so. That wire goes right to the starter. Yeah. It's like triple extra sketch. What if you go straight off the truck batteries? What does that mean? This is shorter distance to the starter. Oh, that goes, oh, goes okay, right I see, the, it's just looped right to, okay, I got you, yeah. bingo. He did that because he went to jump it off of the batteries at one time, and it, would, it wouldn't do it. I think this, so I think, long of a run. Yeah. I think we need to move the, if we move the ground right to the motor somewhere, like on the block. Let's clean this bar up, you know. Yeah, we can definitely do that. I think that's holding the front support. Yep, that'll work. Yeah. Where's that wire wheel? Where's that? Or a wire brush. Sounds like seven squirrels are living in that thing.
put this on YouTube, you gotta put the a few moments later from SpongeBob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A yeah, few yeah. moments later. <laughs> I usually use the fucking 6,000 years later one or whatever. Yeah. Before. That's the one I usually use because everything takes me forever, so I'm an idiot. You could like unravel those a little. No? No, they flow better. Alright. It sparks, so I got power. Put that one down here. Is there room for them next to each other? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Might have to put that one over. It's fine. Right. Can you get it in there? Yeah. Get her. I'm scared. You're not even touching anything metal now. Good? Alright, let's try it. Oh! Ready? Cross your fingers. Damn. It's not it's fucking having it. still smoking. This thing's vibrating like. Yeah, I can feel it too when I. Yeah. It's putting the juice in, that's yeah. why. Although like chickens are jumping right into there. Here, hit it with, hit it once. Good. Right. It goes right to two other yeah. when we crank it. It's like ripping. Dang. Just let it sit a second. I don't know if the batteries will take any. Put it on like a 40. Should her eat for a while. You got anything to do today? No, this was it. Your day off. Every day's a day off. Should have just went yeah. to Home Depot. Really? Yeah. Friday, you I, I could have. Yeah, I could have went to Home Depot, you got all my going. shit, came back here, and this thing still might not have been running. <laughs> Two thousand years later. Hold up. Hold up. What do we got? Hold up. What do we got going on? Dude, here? I why can't. Isn't it not I don't know why it's not starting, dude. What's this thing? <laughs> we we friggin' pod pounded brand new batteries in the bag of it and it had no power. <laughs> Almost died. Oh, what a treat. We're just gonna erase the first 45 minutes of this film. Yeah, I'm thinking like an hour. He's like, dude, I gotta be home by seven. I'm like, bro. Make sure it actually starts. <laughs> Stage it like they do on them other channels. What a big ass not have oil. Pull the dipstick. I'm working on it. Oh. I promoted myself and boss, sorry. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you, you're just like where you work, bro. You <laughs> break some shit and then you get promoted. <laughs> that's, how, that's how it works. Dude. You don't need no <laughs> negative battery connection. You gotta see. fucking wreck it to get promoted. I have no oil pressure. Yeah, it rolls over now. Oh, imagine that. Hmm. Is there even anything in there? I don't know. Doesn't look like it's it. It's really hard to tell. It not even look like nothing's on it. It looks like four gallon in it. Did you drain the oil? No. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Or is this like, Could is this it, like the battery cable deal? Uh, no, we're not gonna bring that up. I definitely didn't drain the oil. Definitely did? No, I didn't. But, I did this back in November, and it sat, like this is the first it's moved and started since then, so. Like, two gallons is a lot of oil to just leak out. I feel like you would've noticed that when you came outside. I'm a busy man. I do most of my work at night. And actually, whenever I went to go see this was uh, when I had to go outside to take a piss. So I had my man, I had my mind on other things, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You wanna try it now? Yeah. See if it's got any pissies. 
moved a little. A little? <laughs> like what, two pisses? <laughs> No charge on all the labor. Oh, okay. Oh. I was getting worried, dude. Yeah, I'm like four hundred dollars an hour up here. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to put a Jake on it. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be sick. That's how it started up every time for me. Even when it was dead, as soon as it like it was like. Oh. Yeah, it so rolled it hit, rolled right over, yep, no yeah. problem. As soon as she's happy, she's happy. And it's like cold. It ain't warm, dude. It oh. was like. Dude, it on that trailer whole way is like 30 degrees. Oh, it dude. hasn't been started. It's that all winter since uh, November, dude. Well, now I'm concerned there's going to be a monster truck puddle underneath it because oh, it yeah. leaked out eight gallons. It's coming now, bro. Yeah. It's, it's going to rain on me when I take the batteries it's out. It's not <laughs> even the oil pan. It's everything else. So I ain't worried about oil leaks. It's not here for that. Yeah, this is actually for my ceiling fan. I'm going to need that. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much straight out of someone's either toilet bowl or that's what i was gonna say that's what it looked like it one like of them old toilet school bowl toilet bowl deals a ceiling fan they're just like yeah happy. no that's definitely a toilet bowl with them oh yeah you're right he can stay i like him. well he's on his way to home depot to get those yeah so. yeah exactly he knows yeah. Knows <laughs> yeah i like it way more than i thought i would i was really like I was worried you were going to be like, dude, I don't know. I was having, needs a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. I had some chats with myself last night about my life choices. Well, he told me about it the other day, and I'm like, what the f are you buying? Like like did, a did mid a mid-90s. At first, I thought it was a truck. First, I wasn't getting nothing out of him. And then I got a blue truck, and it was a GM product. <laughs> and I'm like... Sounds about right. I'm like, what the f are you going to do with that? Dude, it it raw it like it starts amazing for having 300 300k on it. 
Yeah. It starts better than a lull. Well, this thing was used <laughs> when he put it in, too. A little bit. We didn't have to sit here with two cans of ether to get it going. It, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. And the shifter cable didn't freeze. Well. <laughs> not that it's hooked up to anything. Yeah, it can't. <laughs> but that's not the point. All right, fellas. That's going to do it for this one. But uh, I figure it's been sitting out here overnight. It's kind of chilly, so... We'll do a quick cold start on it and just see how far it's off now that it's here. Things a sweetheart. So here's the crazy part, fellas. This is one of my favorite things about this truck. Everything on the get on the dash works like factory. I love the gauges. Absolutely love the gauges. But this button is what shuts it off. <laughs> it's super cool. What a freaking treat. Actually, does that, does this work? It needs a resistor. Not surprised by that. So a couple things I want to dial in on it. I can't stand that, uh, geez, that's really not terrible. There's a couple weird things. This switch here, one of them, one of these switches is converter lock and unlock. I don't even know. The other one's kick down or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. We gotta figure that deal out. And then little shit like the AC, it works, except the compressor is on this manual switch. So it must need a pressure switch. So we'll put a pressure switch in it and get the AC working. I'm not trying to babysit that while I'm driving down the road. And believe me, my wife is not gonna be able to handle that. So yeah. Other than that, I think it's just a whole bunch of little, just little details that need to be figured out on it. Seat is like super comfortable. It still works. Lumbar. <laughs> what a treat. I think it's going to be a hell of a road trip vehicle. I really do. So, we're going to see what we can't make happen here. I don't think I'm going to turn it up right away. Uh, and the reason, only reason I say I got to take the keys out because it's a goddamn GM. But uh, uh, the only reason I say that is because the 700 R4 is, it's, uh, they're piles of shit. And I can't believe it's held together behind a 453 to begin with. So we're not gonna push our luck with that. I just wanna jam it together. I really wanna have this done for my, I wanna, I wanna drive it to Onaway. I want it to be my like wagon on the way out there. Uh, so in order to do that, we gotta kinda expedite the process here. So anyway, let me know if you want to see more of this thing. If you don't, I won't record any of it. But uh, thanks for watching. We will see you soon in the next episode of whatever this is going to be. I don't know. But huge shout out to the patrons. Really appreciate you guys. Um, can't wait to see your reaction on this video. I really can't. I, <laughs> I'm still not even sure how this thing ended up here, but it did. Um, and without y'all's support, I probably wouldn't have done it, so.
Greatly appreciated. We will uh, we'll see you in the next video.